Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on conducting a multivariate analysis of covariance in SPSS. This statistic is also referred to as a MANCOVA, and it's similar to a MONOVA, except it includes one or more covariates in the model. So taking a look at these fictitious data I have here in the data view, we have 45 participants. Let's say these participants are in a substance use disorder treatment program, and we have an independent variable with three levels, individual counseling, group counseling, and treatment as usual. Then we have two dependent variables, functioning and severity index. And then we have motivation, and this is our covariate. So we want to see what effect program has on the combination of functioning and severity index while controlling for motivation. So our research question, and these data are consistent with the output of MANCOVA. So there are some assumptions that we have to check before we can move into the MANCOVA. One is missing data. Now these fictitious data do not have any missing values, but that's something that you'd want to screen for. We also want to check for outliers, make sure we have normality, a line linear relationship between the dependent variables and the, in this case, one covariate. And we also want to test for homogeneity of variance covariance and homogeneity of regression slopes. So let's start with the outliers and normality. So we'll go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Explore. We'll move all three of these variables, the two dependent variables and the covariate, over to the dependent list box. Under Statistics, we'll add outliers and leave descriptives checked off. Click Continue. Under plots, I'm going to add histogram and normality plots with tests. So this dialog is set up correctly now, and we'll hit OK. And we can see we have no missing values, as I mentioned. We have the descriptives for each of the three variables, and then extreme values, and then moving down to test of normality. Uh, we would normally, in this example, use the Kolmogorov Smirnov. And we can see since we do not have statistical significance, the alpha is set at 0 0.05. We do not have statistical significance for any of the variables. We're going to assume they're all normal. If you were to interpret the Shapiro Wilk, in this case, you would find the same result. None of these values are statistically significant with the alpha set at 0 0.05. And then moving down, we can see a histogram for all the variables, the stem and leaf, and the box plot. And for all these variables, we can see there's no real outlier concerns. So we're going to assume that we're OK with both normality and with outliers. So now we have to check on the linearity between the dependent variables and the covariate. So I'm just going to stay in output and go to graphs. And this can also be done from data view. Legacy dialogs, scatter dot, matrix scatter, then define. And again, all three of the scale variables in this case will be moved over because I have the two dependent variables and the covariate. I'm going to click OK and take a look at the scatter plots here. And what we're looking for is an elliptical pattern starting in the bottom left and moving to the top right. And we don't exactly have that for severity and functioning. Uh, we more or less have it for motivation and functioning and severity and motivation. So just evaluating the graph, we're going to say that this is OK to move on to the next step. And the next step would be testing homogeneity of variance covariance and homogeneity of regression slopes. 
and it'll do this by actually running a custom Mancova. So there's actually two Mancovas that you'll run to run and get the results of one Mancova. So one test assumptions and one is the actual final Mancova that gives you the results to interpret so you can answer your research question. So let's set up the preliminary Mancova here and it's going to be configured very close to the same as the final Mancova. So the program is going to be a fixed factor Functioning and severity will be dependent variables, which they are. Motivation, of course, the covariate. And because SPSS will keep the settings, I'm going to set this up so that it'll be easier to run the final Mancova. So I'm going to include features that are above and beyond what we need just for this preliminary uh, Mancova. So we got homogeneity tests, and I'm going to add descriptive statistics and estimates of effect size as well. And then under plots, I'm going to go ahead and plot program on the horizontal axis. And then for model, for the final Mancova, we're going to leave this alone at full factorial. But for this one, we're going to make a custom. We're going to move over program and motivation uh, separately but then hold down control and highlight both and we're going to get motivation times program. Click continue. Now we're ready to run this preliminary Mancova to test uh, two more of the assumptions. So of interest here are just a few items. We want to make sure that we evaluate boxes test of a quality of covariance matrices because this tells us whether to interpret Wilkes Lambda or Play's Trace. So you can see down here, we're going to be interpreting program times motivation, but we need to know which of these two statistics to interpret. So if boxes test, if this significance, this p-value, is greater than 0 0.001, then it's a non-significant result which means we'll use Wilkes Lambda. If we have a statistically significant result here at the alpha being 0 0.001, we would interpret Palais Trace. So in this case, of course, it would be Wilkes Lambda. And we want a non-significant finding here in order to move forward. And we have it, 0 0.421. That is not statistically significant. So then moving down to program times motivation and that interaction effect with functioning and severity. Again, we want non-significant results, and we have it 0.845 and 0.165. So we have generally met the assumptions here for Mancova. So we can move to our final Mancova. So we analyze general linear model multivariate. Now again, I took some steps to set this up so that it would be easier to transition from the preliminary Mancova to the final. All I need to change is from custom, I just need to move over to full factorial and click continue. And everything else is already configured correctly. I'll click OK. So we can see we had 15 participants in each of the levels of the independent variable. Taking a look at the means, we can see that uh, for functioning and for severity, the means are lower for individual than for group, and lower for group than for treatment as usual. Box's test is not statistically significant, so we're good there. And here is where we see if program has a statistically significant effect on the combination of dependent variables when we control for motivation. And in this case, we're going to interpret Wilkes Lambda because of Box's test being the, the p-value being greater than 0 0.001. In this case, we do not have statistical significance. This is not a statistically significant finding, 
with alpha being equal to 0 0.05. This is greater than that value. So if this were an actual study, this is where we would stop. We have not found statistical, statistical significance, and we would not proceed further in the analysis. But for the purposes of demonstration, uh, I'll continue on to show you the remaining tables. Now here for Levine's test of equality of error variances, uh, we would want non-significant results, and of course we do have a significant result here. So that's an area of caution. And then of course we can see the effective program on functioning and severity individually. And it's no surprise here that we have non-significant results uh, because we had a non-significant result overall up here. And then if you take a look at the plots, it's clear that the individual uh, counseling in this case was more effective than group and treatment as usual, but there's not a sig statistically significant difference there. And then you can see for severity, individual and group uh, both worked pretty well, treatment as usual not as well by comparison, but again, it was not statistically significant, the finding it was not statistically significant. I hope you found this video on conducting a Mankovan SPSS to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.